Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. In this video, I want to share with you some mean comments. Some of you guys are absolutely ruthless, but honestly guys, I find it pretty funny. Um, I've been on YouTube for several years now, and I realize that up front, if you don't have thick skin and you can't take you know, what people dish out, then you might as well not put yourself out there. But I uh, actually enjoy the comments. I find them funny. Um, I, maybe I just got a twisted sense of humor. Who knows? Um, but I even respond to a lot of your comments. Even if they're mean, uh, it doesn't offend me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, but I wanted to share them with you guys because uh, you're probably locked up at home as well with this whole COVID-19 thing. Hope you guys are staying safe, stay inside. Let's try to get rid of this thing and get it under control so we can get back to our normal lives. But in the meantime, let's jump into some mean comments. All right, the first one comes from Freedom Lover. Youth man putting on a few pounds from YouTube videos. <laughs> All right, confession. Ever since I started doing YouTube videos, absolutely, man. Uh, I spend a lot of time editing, shooting videos, a lot of doing what I'm doing right now, sitting down. And uh, it's definitely taking a toll. Plus, I'm not getting any younger. I'm 44 years old. And, uh, um, and then this COVID-19 with everybody being locked up uh, is even uh, adding on to that. So, but Youth Man has a plan. I'm going to begin to lose some weight here shortly. But uh, man, appreciate the comment there. The next one comes from Borlam Diaz. He looks like Tim Cook. What do you think? Sandstorm on Desert says, that's all. Nothing to prove. Useless. Glad you enjoyed the content. So as I'm scrolling through like a thousand comments today, just looking through and culling through, um, I came across one comment that was um, literally right next to a totally different video Totally different comment, but by the same persons. I figured let's hit both of his at the same time. This guy apparently is Mr. Positivity, so let's check it out. So Timberwolf says, you only made the drive for something free or drastically discounted. Be honest. So I'll take a moment just to even answer and address this like I did in the comments. So a long time ago, you guys said, Michael, if you like SVS, if you like clips, subwoofers, you got to check out JTR. And I was like, who is JTR? I had never heard of them at that time. This is probably about a year and a half ago. Uh, yeah, probably about a year and a half ago. And so I began to do some research, saw uh, JTR speakers, reached out to them on Facebook, um, sent them an email. I made several attempts to reach out to them, but never heard back from them. So it took quite a while. And one day, uh, Jeff, which is the owner of JTR, posted on his Facebook page, um, about an upcoming Axpona event that he was going to be there with this huge, massive JTR system. And I just replied on that comment that, man, I, th that looks incredible. I would love to review some of your speakers. And he replied to me and he said, message me. And so we began a conversation and we talked over the phone and he ended up sending me uh, the JTR RS2s, which are ridiculously incredible. And one day I was talking to Jeff on the phone and I mentioned to him that over this year, over the course of 2020, I really wanted to begin to focus on doing things like factory tours as well as um, home theater tours. And he said, man, I'd love to fly you up and let you hear what JTR is all about and see what we do here. Who in the world wouldn't take him up on that opportunity? So he flew me up there, had an amazing two days getting to know Jeff seeing what really goes into uh, the JTR speaker. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out right up here. Um, he uses some incredibly high-end products, components for his speakers and subwoofers, uh, even like a, a $900 coaxial driver on uh, the reference series. Anyway, go check that out. I've also got two other home theater tours that I did of JTR systems. So I'll link those down in the description below because um, it's hard to throw multiple cards up um, back to back uh, on the channel. So, uh, but check those out down in the description below after this video. I think they'll be worth your time. But yes, Timberwolf, typically when we as content creators review a product from any brand, um, just about every brand will offer those products to us at a discounted rate. The reality is they've got to pay to ship it back to them. And then on top of that, now they've got to turn around and figure out a way to sell a product 
uh, used or open box. And they would rather not do that. And of course, if we decide that we like it enough to buy it and keep it, then that's just additional um, advertising for them um, you know, through our content. So it ends up being a win-win for both the content creator as well as for uh, the brand. There have been plenty of things that I have gotten in here that were great products, but I just didn't end up you know, uh, keeping them in my setup because I either had something that was better or I just didn't really need it. These are a significant upgrade over a single 15 bar none, no doubt about it, digs incredibly deep, has nothing to do with, um, you know, what I paid for them. It came down to these things are no holds bar subwoofers. They're bad to the bone. So anyway, just thought I would address your question or comment there, but let's check out your other comment. And so Timberwolf, apparently, uh, he's, he's got some anger issues here. His second comment, he mentions, please stop talking with your hands. So annoying. I didn't realize I talked with my hands. Do you guys think I talk with my hands? I don't think I talk with my hands. What do you think? Actually, yes, I've always talked with my hands. Um, to me, being able to communicate not only verbally, but also with my hands, um, that's just the way that I express myself. And so I don't have to uh, communicate the way that, that uh, Timberwolf would. Maybe he talks like this and he's a stiff board and he doesn't move his head, he doesn't move his eyebrows and he barely moves his mouth. That's kind of boring to me. Um, I've always been kind of an animated person. Um, I've always been energetic, high energy, um, and that's just the way I communicate. And one time I actually Googled it. I was like, you know, does that say anything? You know, people that use their hands, does, you know, is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. And the research that I found just in a quick Google search says that uh, people that use their hands tend to be uh, leaders. Um, they also sometimes, it, you know, this is subjective, of course, but um, they could be more intelligent. I don't really necessarily think I'm more intelligent because I use my hands. I just think it's a better way for me personally to communicate my message and what I'm trying to share with my audience. So if you don't like it, and there's plenty of other channels out there that don't use their hands. All right, the next one comes from Gerald Adams. Wow. Thought we'd be able to listen to speakers, but oh my goodness, this dude can talk. Well, Gerald, honestly, I talk a lot. I mean, think about it. My job, my profession is to talk. Prior to doing YouTube and content creation, I was a student pastor for 23 years. Guess what I did there? Talked. Every Sunday, every Wednesday, Sunday morning. That's just who I am. That's what I do. Um, and Apparently it's working out pretty decently for me because I'm now doing this full time. Blue Zylon says, what an a-hole, has too much money. Now this comment was in reference to a video that I did on uh, Tony's JTR uh, home theater. I did a room tour of his system, absolutely incredible home theater. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out up here in the card above as well as in the description below. Phenomenal system. And I always find it interesting when guys critique or criticize uh, a home theater, especially when it's done very well. And they say something kind of, honestly, kind of dumb like this. Number one, you've probably never even met Tony. Um, in my interaction with him, just in, in the day that we hung out, incredibly nice guy super hospitable. He's continually inviting people over to his home. Um, he provides candy and snacks and, and drinks and just an incredible home theater experience. He doesn't charge these guys anything. You know, I don't see any reason why you would even want to call him that, but it's the internet. Anybody with a keyboard and a mouse can type whatever they want. You know, um, my guess is you would never say that to him to his face. But hey, I'm making an assumption just like you did. And well, you know what, that happens. And another thing, Tony ended up spending four hours with me, walking me step by step through how to dial my system in with the JTR RS2s. And so we use some software called REW as well as the mini DSP. Now I'm somewhat familiar with REW. I've been using it for a while now, but mini DSP was super new to me. And he's been using this for a long time and has done an amazing job in his setup dialing it in. And so he remote connected to my computer and spent four hours with me 
um, literally walking me through and, and going through all of my settings. And he was able to get my frequency response incredibly, incredibly smooth, especially when my room has quite a few issues acoustically. And so if you're interested in that video, check it out up here as well. It's a phenomenal video, um, gives you some insight as to what is possible with the mini DSP. Victor Johnson says, it must suck to be you. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm quite comfortable with being me. Um, I don't try to be anybody that I'm not. Um, I don't try to be um, pretend that I've got it all figured out uh, here on the YouTube platform, in the home theater space. I mean, I'm learning every day just like you guys are. Um, my desire on this channel isn't to uh, sound like I know everything and I'm a know-it-all and, and, uh, and you've got to listen to me. My desire on this channel is to provide content that is not only educational, hopefully entertaining, um, and, and really motivates and inspires you to make your own home theater, whether it's in a, a dedicated theater room like I have here, maybe it's in a bedroom, an attic, a garage, wherever, in a basement, um, I just want to provide content as I learn stuff and as I experience things, whether I'm reviewing an amplifier or whether I'm reviewing a pair of speakers or subwoofer or uh, theater seats or whatever. I want to share my experience uh, with those products so that you guys can maybe make better decisions on purchases for your own home theater. So if you're into home theater audio and video, go ahead right now, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. The next one comes from Sabrez. He says, I hate you. My SVS PB16 and HSU VTF15 all of a sudden now look less appealing to me. I'm not jealous at all. Whatever, dude. So <laughs> this happens a lot, you know, when I, I'll post a video and of just some fun subs or some great amplifier. And, and I know on the other end of YouTube, as you're watching the video, you may be looking at your system and comparing it to whether it's my system or maybe a system that, that I um, uh, do a home theater tour about. And man, don't worry about that. The only person you have to impress is you. I did not build my theater room to impress any of you guys. Um, I know some of y'all may think that, but that's not the case. I build my theater what I like. I listen to uh, a speaker and determine whether my ears enjoy that, not what I think you guys would enjoy. And so I encourage you to do the same. If you like Martin Logan, go with Martin Logan. If you like Bose, go with Bose. If you like to do no subwoofer in a two-channel setup, do that. If you like running no Dolby Atmos or uh, Oro 3D, whatever, you find out what works for you in your environment, in your setup, and you just rock it. All right, Rummer Line LMO has a potty mouth, so I'm not going to repeat what he says, but he basically says, shut the F up and get at it. Laryngitis, and you still talk too stinking much. Poor presentation. Is this Christmas or an equipment demo? <laughs> All I can say, man, is... uh. You must be angry. I do always love it when guys uh, talk about um, maybe a video that I make or some other content creator makes and, and they get real critical of it. And like this guy says, you know, poor presentation. Um, I would love to see your YouTube channel. That would be my reply to you. Um, I'd love to see how you do it. And if you do a great job, I'm not going to bash you. I'm going to say you did a great job. But honestly, some people are just negative and there's nothing you can do about it. Scott Schultz says, you look like Hulk Hogan got glasses and a haircut and AIDS. JK, brother. <laughs> honestly, I have no idea what to make of that. You know, the first part, I wish I looked like Hulk Hogan. I wish I had his muscles. Um, even at an older age, man, he was always ripped. Um, I can definitely uh, see his energy in myself. Um, glasses, I've been wearing those since I was two years old. I had an eye operation. Um, and and kind of thinking about that, a lot of you guys used to mention um, that I would look at a monitor. I'm always looking at the camera. I've just got this goofy eye that kind of drifts off. And again, um, that was from, uh, from an early age when I was two years old. 
uh, I had an eye operation on it, but it's it's never been able to kind of focus straight. And so I physically have to think about it and try to pull it back. Um, but it is what it is. Um, the AIDS part? No, I'm pretty sure I don't have that. Uh, but anyway, appreciate your comment. Ike says, jump to four minutes and 25 seconds if you don't want to watch useless box flipping porn stuff. Oh my goodness. Just open it already. Most annoying video. Sniffing the wood, etc. Come sniff my fart. I'll eat cherry for you. <laughs> Who says come sniff my fart? I mean, I know we're all cooped up here with the whole COVID-19, but I mean, is that how you pass your time? Asking people to come smell your farts? That's hilarious, bro. Yeah, I get it. Not everybody likes uh, unboxing videos, um, but some of my most viewed videos are unboxing and overview videos. And so typically what I'll do is I unbox one, talk about the specs, talk about the features, talk about just my initial impressions of it. But the reality is I can't give a full review on a product until I've spent some time with it, at least two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, sometimes multiple months before I can accurately kind of share what I experienced with it, see how reliable it's been over that period of time. Um, and you know, when I first get a product in, I wanna share my excitement if it's a cool product that I'm really interested in, uh, in, in reviewing. And so I wanted to get those videos out as soon as possible instead of having to wait a month or two months after I get it before I even talk about it. Justin Pelsey says, you recommended a subwoofer that costs $1,300. You are clickbait. Well, I've never been called clickbait before. And certainly I don't think I've ever made a video that was clickbait. Um, and in particular, it's kind of interesting. The video he's referencing uh, I basically talk about how this monolith uh, 5.1.4 system, it's a Dolby Atmos system, is under $3,000. So I'm not amazing at math, but I'm pretty sure $1,300 is under $3,000. Now, not all mean comments are directed at me, and this one comes from a conversation between Carl Caps and Slimer. So Carl says, my 18-inch sub is larger than both of those combined. So Carl is referencing uh, the dual JTR RS2 subs that I have. Slimer responds with, why are you leaving so many weird comments? Do you have brain damage? <laughs> and Carl says, Slimer, why do you ask? Are you a doctor? I'm just an old engineer that enjoys building my own speakers and have been doing so since the 70s. It's my hobby for a long, long time. Good for you, Carl, man. Glad to see that you're still enjoying audio and home theater possibly uh, for such a long time. And that's absolutely incredible. <laughs> I, I thought that was funny though. Slimer says, yeah, brain damage. Uh, some people. Audio Chronic says less than 30 seconds in and you're already asking me to subscribe. If this video is less than great, then the next time I see a suggestion from your channel, I'm going to tell YouTube to never suggest your content. Audio Chronic, do what you gotta do, my man. Damon Benke says, this guy's ears are on the side of his neck and he talks like a teenage boy. Ethan Awald says, you look like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> you may be right. I'm just a lot nicer than he is. This guy says, my friend, you talk too much. More than likely there's a language barrier, but I still replied and had a little fun with him. Now, before I share the last comment and literally my favorite comment out of all of these that I've read today, um, I want to share a couple of things. Number one, the comments that I receive daily are just literally astronomical. Um, I physically cannot answer and reply to every one of your comments, even though I try to do my very best to, to answer as many of them as I can, at least to let you know that I read it by clicking the heart or a, a thumbs up. But one thing that I wanted to do is create a community of audio and video enthusiasts like myself that can help you. Um, with a group of people, you're more apt to get your questions answered and be able to share thoughts and suggestions with other people set up. And so I created a Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, uh, I'd love for you to join the Youthman crew there. You can head over to facebook.com groups 
forward slash youthman crew. The other thing I want to mention is thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my patrons. You guys have been incredible, especially over the past month. We've received many, many new patrons, and so I'm super grateful for you. Now, one other thing I want to mention before I share my favorite comment is right now I've got a contest going on that will last the month of April. Now, my patrons get early access to this giveaway, and it allows them to get daily entries up until the end of the contest. And so by having an extra seven days of daily entries, hopefully it gives them more opportunity to win the giveaway. And so this is a big giveaway. It's about an $850 uh, value. And so if that's something that you're interested, you can join Patreon today and still take advantage of that. I won't announce the actual link to um, the giveaway to the public until uh, April the 8th. So you still got time to get in some early daily entries. So if you're interested in that, head over to patreon.com slash youthman. All right, guys, let's get to the final comment of the day. And I think my favorite comment, funniest comment that I read today as I was looking through these. Now, since I received so many comments, it's really hard for me to reply to each and every one of them, and especially when they're in a foreign language. But as I was going through them today, this one kind of caught my attention. It's from Eric Simpson. And he says, Gozer Jo Hele DK Hooft Heeft issues. And so I saw issues and I'm like, what kind of issues? Is he having an issue with something? Or is he saying that I have issues? So I copied his comment, pasted it over to Google Translate, and here's what it says Dude, you're very fat head. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's like the best Google Translate I've ever seen. That is hilarious. Well guys, hopefully you found this video entertaining. If you like this type of content, as well as home theater, audio and video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I produce weekly content that I believe you'll enjoy. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.